Good morning. It's uh, four twenty twenty. We're here in Temecula, California. My name is Danny Bradshaw. I'm running for the president of the United States of America. I would like to uh, let everyone know two of my grandbabies got adopted out, Mike and Dean. Don't leave men behind. Prayer changes things. Now, I'd like to give a little testimony about my life. My mom and dad divorced at a young age. And uh, my big sister, LaDonna McKinney, always say she was a drug dealer. She drug, she drug me to this church over here. She drug me to that church over there. She was always drugging, saying, let's go to, let's go to church, drugging me everywhere to these churches. Thank, thank you, LaDonna, for what you did. There was a lot of good people in our lives for that reason. Uh, my first stepdad wasn't a good guy. He was a molester of my sibling, siblings. And a uh, terrible thing. God made it happen to where we had a 20-year veteran as a dad, Truman Smith. He went by Sarge. He was a World War II and a Korea veteran. Retired in 1964. And he always ate bologna sandwiches ever since 1964 to 84 for lunch every day at his work. I believe the reason he did that because he knew baloney when he saw it. And uh, it wasn't a match made in heaven for my mother. She thought he was more like a father figure than a husband. So her life was, uh, she, she uh, left him for a man that she, she loved, Joe Neely, which she stayed with him until the day he died. And, uh, but there was a lot of things that happened in our life. Uh, one thing happened is my first cousin had a little boy, 10 years old, that passed with cancer. And Marty witnessed to me. And uh, this little boy passed at 10 with the bone cancer. And the time he passed, he put his head on his Dad's lap and said, Dad, do you hear that? And his dad asked, What do you hear, son? He said, I hear the angel singing, and the last word is, I see Jesus. After that, I go to Fort Hood, Texas, training exercise. I believe it is 1987, it might have been 1986. I'm thinking of 1987. Ten men burn up in a helicopter crash. It was a human barbecue. It was just like the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash, but they had nine people. They were ten in Fort Hood, Texas. A sergeant ran to that helicopter and asked four of our men to get off of it before it even went up because he thought that helicopters weren't scientifically supposed to fly. Our four men got off and four more men from Little Rock, Arkansas got on. And when they were, that helicopter went up in there and those died and killed all 10 men, all them, them four men that got off that helicopter were crying their eyes out. But after that, I, I was having a good day. One day I bought a car. I went into my Uncle Russell's insurance office in Harrison, Arkansas, Uncle Russell Bradshaw. And uh, I was all in a 
good mood, happy mood, had a nice car that I just bought, good deal. You know, and my Uncle Russell asked me to sit down and he had something to tell me. He said, uh, son, your mom just tried to take her life in Meridian, Mississippi. So my good day turned bad. Well, we went and seen her. I had to get a hold of my big sister in California. I met her, met her at the airport in Springfield, Missouri. We took off and the car broke down. Ended up getting a ride with the truck driver and his wife in the Meridian. And uh, when I got back to Harrison, Arkansas, I asked my Uncle Russell, Bradshaw, I asked him uh, for help. He told me, son, I'll give you all the help you need in this world. You be ready to go to church Sunday morning. And boy, was I ready. And whenever Pastor Stanton asked if somebody needed to come forward, I ran. And I even dismissed in prayer that church service that day. Fast forward. My mother passed away in 2012. That was 1987 when that happened. When she, what she done? She shot her left eye out with a, with a gun. She shot the bullet through the roof of her mouth, and the bullet went through the, her left eyeball, and she lost her left eye. So she ended up having a prosthetic eye. And you get on 2012. She passed away with cancer. Then my daughter, Desiree Bradshaw, I love her dearly. Things wasn't going right. 2013, I'd asked the deputy sheriffs of Riverside County to check the welfare of my grandbabies. They did, things didn't happen right uh, the way they, uh, things went. And uh, CPS got involved, took the boys. The boys' dad, if uh, girls get strung out and the kids get adopted out, then he don't have to pay child support. Well, he needs to do a little time in prison because he's done this to several girls, not just my daughter, but several. This man needs to be in prison, messing up people's lives, period. My daughter's a lot better today uh, Riverside County set me up. It don't matter what man does to us, God takes care of us. I got to go to a Christian home, living word in the desert, Victory Life Training Center. Thank you, Jesus, for these places. I've been associated with Grace St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church ever since uh, 1988. And you know, God's worked a lot of things out in our life. My daughter's a good mama. She had number six on December the 23rd. Abaya Nicole. Mac has four that's with her, so they have 10, but Mike and Dean are missing, so there's two missing. And we just uh, gonna keep going forward. We're not going to look back over what we've done wrong. We're going to go forward from this day forward. And we just, uh, I just want to let America know there's a lot of corruption in this world. There's a story, Holtzclaw, H-O-L-T-Z-C-L-A-W. First name is Daniel in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Well, that man got 263 years, and they got it for Daniel in the end. In the, the end. You go look at his story. He was railroaded. I was railroaded 
in Riverside County, so I know exactly how he's been railroaded. And let me tell you something. Baloney needs to stop in this country, in this world. Drugs needs to stop. And with America, with your help, we could put a stop to corruption. There was corruption in Beaumont, California for years, embezzlement. And do you think that Beaumont, California is the only corruption city there is that was bailed California? No, it's all over this country. And we need to put a stop to it. It's in the White House. We need to put a stop to it. It's wherever we look, there's corruption. There's corrupted police officers. There's corrupted doctors. There's corrupted lawyers. There's corruption everywhere. And with you guys' help and with God's help, we're going to put a stop to it. I love this country. I'm Army Strong, Combat Engineer Army Strong. I'm Danny Bradshaw. Army Strong. Don't leave men behind campaign. We love this country. And thank you for listening to me. And thank you for listening about my life. And uh, we need someone that's to run this country that's been through something and not had a silver spoon stuck in their mouth all their life. We need a praying president, constantly praying without ceasing. We love you, Father. We thank you in everything that we do. We thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us another breath of air today, Lord. We're not promised tomorrow. Father God, we just lift every situation up to you. You help us in what we need to do, Lord. And it's not about me, it's about you, God. We've got to put you back in everything we do. The Bible needs to be our history class. It's taught from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. And ones that don't want to live for you, that's fine. That's between them and you, Lord. But we need to teach the Bible. Make it mandatory in our schools. We love you, Father, and we thank you. And everything we do, we do unto you in your precious loving name. Amen.